Just kills. It looks like Navi getting the short end of the stick on this fight. They were trying to hunt Limax down here to just to wipe him off the map and get rid of him, but player has gotten right back into it. So these are great kills for a mid if they can grab all of them, which it looks like they likely will. Yep. They've got a nice early lead over most of the competition, winning their early drop with, I think, a total of three eliminations. Only the Zix team doing that off screen. Navi has got to be... Well, saying words in Australian that are uh, uh, very appropriate, but not for this broadcast. They have to be frustrated. 10th, 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 11th, and 12th have been their placement so far, which is so different from yesterday. But that's what happens. When you got teams like Guild, teams like Fnatic, that want to put a lot of presence topside prison, they're just not comfortable on these drops. Twisted Minds, a top team, a frustrating last map, slowly falling down the leaderboard, about nine points behind the Falcons. They need another good one, they need it now. Again, we're playing for a lot of money at the top. $200,000 if you win, plus the 50K bounty, plus just the title <laughs> of an Esports World Cup champion. Yeah, just a lot of things on the line there, brother. <laughs> it's a whole laundry list of things you could check through, as Falcons actually have a good idea of who's around them. This is the Heretic Squad, who often stay very safe and get lost circle preference, but has that been the case yet? today and the Falcons look like they're trying to reap the reward of possibly finding some free kills that will be at least an opportunity for Shifty to get up the ladder but again that just feels like Heretics are going to give away that spot but you know one team that's not changing up their strategy is the Falcons they're sending two <laughs> out they're leaving Ahsoka in Stronghold by himself there's not anyone close to Ahsoka in a country mile yeah. as Twisted Minds do clean up a couple kills here on screen here in Factory again these top teams they're kind of farming some of the squads that are really struggling today mm. adding insult to injury, injury if you can mental boom a team I mean you're going to catch catch all of them for free and maybe even more. Well, here's the thing. Keep an eye on this fight because heretics think they may be able to find this remote building to get themselves looted up again. That's not the case. Aiden does pre-fire the corner. Trust that Knight can follow nice. up. Good bait and switch coming through. And yeah, heretics have no drop spot right now. You can see the other member, number 12, is just floating through the backside of the gas, just trying to find something for them to land on. Yeah, and lurking in the corner, the Falcons are here. They've got a nice sight line. That's probably who's shooting at Aiden right now. Shifty and Biffle up on high ground with a nice angle. Couple teams in this area. It looks like Navi trying yep. to regain in Factory as well, which certainly isn't going to go well. You can see Limax over by Shifty, but back to prison we go. We see Fnatic on top. They've got a nice four to five kills in total as a team, and seemingly all is clear on the Western Front. Yeah, and they've cleared the Western Front. Now they're going to the Eastern Front. They know that, hey, if we're not seeing anything over towards this backside area, there must be someone on the opposite. Opposite as once again, here is that little revive trying to come through for Navi. Completely denied. They're running into full squads wherever they try to land. Other teams that are doing the same thing right now, Heretics we talked about, but also new icons. Neither of these teams can find any stable ground to get any loot. Off screen, Omit knows the script. Hasoka by himself. They know if we go stronghold, we saw Shifty and Biffle sure. way up into living quarters. We know we can drop an Ahsoka as a team of three and win that, striking away at their anchor and taking stronghold for ourselves. So now Omit is the only team in stronghold as it looks like, well, unfortunately, Fnatic is continuing their tear uh, through this yep. map, taking out Zix and fully eliminating them from the lobby. Well, and that's kind of the thing, right? Like, you may be able to isolate our anchor, but when our front line is that far forward, winning so many gunfights, the anchor just moves. <laughs> you yeah. just pass the baton and say, okay, now we're going to anchor ourselves around living quarters. And again, Navi cannot get their boots on wow. the ground, man. They're getting absolutely destroyed. They just cannot find a way to get together and find any loot whatsoever. I mean, they're farming them, literally. This looks like ranked. You're taking out two, you're leaving one alive, and then you're farming them as they fall back in because they don't have their loadout. It's just as simple as that. Now, Omit having to rotate in. They're going to run back into the Falcons. The Falcons want their position back, and unfortunately, falling, but should be totally fine here. No real angles from Omit, not yet. But that's what Elo's going for. Has some loadout weapons, has the angles. The high ground here is huge because the only way up here is via a ladder or, of course, flying back in after you die. So should be feeling pretty comfortable here unless a C4 hits him in the face. Yeah, this is going to be one of those moments well, where it's breach and clear. There's the C4, there's the smoke, there's the yeah. play. Uh, I mean, <laughs> exhibit A of how to break a ladder setup <laughs> showcased by the Falcons. They will, again, anchor up this living quarters position. Amit will have to drop over towards strongholds. Uh, and then we now need to take a look to see what else will happen with the other teams trying to regain, because everyone's trying to get to this bottom side of the map, which is where the circle's starting to pull towards. Well, we got to go check in on Guild in the middle of the map in Good prison. Yeah. Again, a fight for prison. It looks like it's likely Fnatic on top. Guild down below. Guild has won the low ground. Fnatic has won the high ground. Off the offhand side here over by Kim. It looks like, again, Heretics yeah. cannot get anything going. Yeah, the other thing about this is not only our new icon, pretty much a full squad, but below them is number nine in that kind of salmon color. That's SGP Syndicate. So again, there's no free ground to land on anywhere. Well, it looks like off screen, we've got Skullface fighting Knight. 
looks like squad seven's out of here, by the way. Our second squad to fall yet again. Aizen can't get anything going with guild in the way. Bottom prison is all guild's territory right now, especially the last two maps. It looks like Twisted Minds in a bit of a blender as well. It was actually Fnatic that pushed over and cleared them off that POI. But now, back here to Twisted Minds, this is what I'm talking about. Look at this restabilization. They're in a blender, which could open a window of opportunity. And here comes it. You can see it, Team 2 lurking in the shadows. Fnatic want to take down Twisted Minds. That's their main competition right now. The problem now. is Twisted Minds have a very free and safe loadout drop, plus the ammo drop to get themselves essentially right back to where they finished from when they dropped. So even though it may not feel comfortable in terms of the positions they hold, they do have the the full weapons that they want. Also, another scope over towards that backside of ship. They are going to be able to find number 10. Good, that is Navi again, Great. who continue that's... to just get farmed up by every squad bottom side of the map. Oh, that's so free for Falcons. I mean, they're getting free kill after free kill. Navi will not be fully eliminated. They're still alive. The Falcons are on 11 already, yeah. and it's almost entirely on the backs of Navi, <laughs> who's handed them kills. And unfortunate for them, Navi's doing what they can. There's nothing wrong about what they're trying to do. They just can't stabilize. They're getting killed everywhere they try to land. And uh, we're gonna head back to last map winners. Raul on four, still fighting over here with control and it's Omit back on control, taking this position, especially with new zone coming. Yeah, Omit decided they didn't want to fight Falcons anymore. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. So you That's rotate <laughs> up to try to get some positioning around the top side of the circle where control center is. And like you said, it is gonna be team destroy up in that area. But still, Falcons are spreading the map. I mean, they have, and you can see it on this expanded Good. mini map right now, Brief. they have got the entire bottom third of the map. Just because they're playing so spread, they're finding individual kills and it's putting a lot of stress on all these teams trying to regain right before we get our resurgence close. Yeah, it's really this Falcon squad south side or southwest side of the map. You've got Factory locked down by Twisted Minds. And frankly, top prison's Fnatic, bottom prison is Guild. And yep. that's how it's been all day today. Those are some of our top teams. Guild just finally making a late research here. Could have another good game. They're on seven off screen, but the Falcons are on 14 right now. It's not close, and we still have a few more seconds, about a minute and a half or so until that resurgence timer closes. Guild and Fnatic are fighting right now. I, I, if we can get either squad 11 or 2 right now, this would be pivotal because whoever wins that battle out is going to get full prison control and kind of looking at it, at least on our expanded map, it looks like Guild have pushed off Fnatic almost completely. So Guild in a great spot to try to come from the north side of the map and possibly one-up their performance from last game. Yeah, look at this Almond all by himself does have a portable buy station if he needs it, is going to go ahead and just rebuy back. His teammate's not going to take any risks here. We still have 55 seconds on resurgence, but if you wait 20 seconds, look who's lurking, look who's yep. coming. The Falcons know they are flying in, they are soaring for power position, and right now it is HQ. Yeah, they see Almond's buyback, and they say, okay, does she want to buy someone up here? We'll just head right on over. Again, they've controlled this bottom third of the map for free. Now all the streaks start to rain on in. Skullface on the way back, trying to get himself some safety. He's got to go all the way to the bottom floor, so once again, Falcons in a position to try to swoop in on this, but also the same way, AB Wiz, top side of the high ground, has got to look at this as well. Well, this is a brand new AB Wiz team. They're playing a totally different strategy. Let's get top prison. Why not? Yep. We haven't seen them top prison since, I think, game one of group stages, finally making a move to the inner parts of the map rather than the outer parts, and seemingly finding some success, finding Ahsoka, as we see another fight here on the left hand side of the map trying to gain some sort of power position, but right now the only teams near prison that have any sort of semblance of stabilization. Quick look at the map here as Luganus is trying to find the Syndicate team and our resurgence closes. Everybody wanted prison. The problem is it's now on factory, which means Twisted Minds, if they can stay alive here, should have the best spot. Yeah, absolutely the case. The other thing about this with the circle starting to close, the fast side of the circle is through prison. So teams like Guild, teams like AB Wiz, teams like Amit that we've all talked about being on the north side will have to rotate down towards Fnatic and Falcons. Things are going to get really, really messy as the circle starts to close here in the next 20 seconds on that top side of the map. Definitely keep your eye to see what AB Wiz and wow. Guilds can do from prison. Fanatics getting torn apart. Resurgence They're timer pitched. down. They're also out of cash. I mean, we've already just spent about seven grand getting our teammates back just a moment ago. All of a sudden, you're last alive. You're Almond. You only have 1,700. That might have been an error. He's got a buy station up with him. He just doesn't have the cash. Yeah. He could have saved a little bit of time, but it's just high risk, high reward playstyle. You had to risk it. And right now, they are in a blender, which is good for just about every other team. But the Falcons are on 16, and they are lurking, waiting, looking for Almond, trying yeah. to get that team wiped. Almond's screwed. He's out of the picture. He 
he's just hoping he can find some sort of a play to get to the top eight. But again, watch the rotation on your minimap. Kill the team number 13, team number 11. That's what we're looking at. That's Omit and Guild that are going to be in absolute battles with one another. Vision able to drop himself back in. Behind this play, the late rotators will be AB Wiz. It's going to get messy here at headquarters. Yeah, Guild is getting real dirty down below as we lose Pat Zuka. Not going to repeat that success this time around, falling in about 12th or 11th now. We have 11 teams remaining. We're not even close to the multiplier yet, and we're moving in towards fifth circle. Crazy to see this situation with Almond still last alive. Yet AB Wiz holding on nine eliminations in total, and they're just trying to throw a hope and a prayer with a grenade to maybe get a knock to try to send because they have the long side of the zone. Look yeah. at where it pulls all the way to Twisted Minds. They are ready to take this game. Yeah, I'll just make a bold prediction here, Coach. We got 11 teams alive right now. By the time this circle closes, we're going to have three. Everyone <laughs> is going to be in a blunder trying to rotate down in. Like you mentioned, Twisted Minds and Syndicate without question in the best current positions. It just comes down to, do they forfeit those to try to third party with all these actions coming on? You need kills. 16 still for Falcons. They haven't found any in the last two and a half minutes. AB Wiz <laughs> says, why not the gondola? Cuddle. Let's try it. We'll Cuddle. drop with the gondola. There's like no cover. They go prone. They do make it with a little bit of visual cams. Heretics somehow restabilize, trying to find some sort of success. Problem is, you got to open up your shoulder to another team, and there are so many in the area. Still 11, but you're right. It's about to get real mixy. We're about to go down to five here shortly, as Almond does win his ones, always wins his ones. The problem uh, is, yeah. you've got no resources. All you have is a self-revive. I don't know if he's going to make it in. This could be a window of opportunity, as it looks like Guild white yep. teams left, right, and center off to the other side. Fnatic is out of here. Window of opportunity open for some of our bottom teams, with the Falcons still alive, holding that window shut, saying not today. You got Falcons in the high ground, safe side of the corner, destroys deep in one of the buildings that's going to have to be pushed out, and then Guild other side, playing through the gas. Those are your three healthiest teams right now. It's just down to who finds who first. All of a sudden, Guild is in contention to slowly creep towards this top three. Guild is about to make a move up this leaderboard. They can stay together. They're losing one. It looks like Visions is pushing out. Oh, Mitt's going big off screen. That's actually Syndicate falling. Not a full white, but dang close. Eight. We found our multiplier, but the question is, where do we go from here when this circle is this small? Amit has got himself a little corner. The circle's going to continue to force them to have to move very rapidly, though. Guild also being shredded by every single squad because the Falcons are up top, and they force Guild down to the low ground. Destroyed from the other side. The other full squad of three, and here we go. Final circle moves towards Destroy. Syndicate out. Omit continuing to find a tear. They're also a full team of three. They have the short end of the zone. All they have to move through is somehow Navi, who's still in this game, likely only a couple kills to boot. I can't imagine it's going to be a huge point value, but they are extra bodies in the way. You lose resources, you might lose. The Unreal. Falcons do not lose gunfights. Team Destroy can't do anything. Pitbull on one single HP, but it doesn't matter. You've got resources, you've got position. Jeez. The Falcons are in position to win this with two. That was a stupid rotation from Falcons. Falcons up and over behind destroy catches them completely by surprise still fully healthy though Amit, they're looking to get the wrap they may surprise Falcons here from behind Guild is out. They get sixth. Navi gets fifth. No multipliers for Guild. They desperately needed it. Unfortunately, 1.2. We're into the final five and Omit. You're never going to leave them out. That's what their name means. Destroys out of here in four. Three teams remaining. Omit might have a small advantage, but the problem is positioning. <laughs> Look at where the Falcons are. It is a Falcon range way up in their nest, just firing down on the teams below. The problem is, look at the zone shift resources. We're out on gas map. Yep. This is going to get real mixy. And the thing about it is Omit just may be the healthiest team. They're playing very passive, but it may work out because eventually Falcons will have to try to make a move. And it looks like Biffle may be the one to call it. Here comes the fight, though, down low. Wow. Amit able to take care of new icons. Everyone's low. Here would be the time for the Falcons to swoop in and try to clean up. Amit down to their last member. Falcons able to come through, find the kill, and take the win. High ground superiority continues to be the name of the game. High ground superiority third party superiority. You needed those teams to fight each other and Omit needed to take the fight. They were down on the leaderboard. Second place gives you a 1.7x. Unfortunately for them, Drake says, how about a 1v3? Yeah. Like, Drake goes massive. That's a 1.7 for that squad. I don't know how much it's going to really influence the overall leaderboard, but shout out to the Falcons. They do grab a victory. Massive win, great positioning, and great patience for a team that loves to slay out. Yeah, and to be honest, you know, in terms of the overall tournament expectations, it's been Falcons, Falcons, Falcons. 
We needed to see a little bit of a bounce back from them. <laughs> Not to sit there and say that they've played poorly, but coming off of a fifth place, uh, pretty me, a fourth place and an eighth place in their last two games, it does feel like, okay, let's just not forget that these guys still are very much the heavy favorites for the tournament. Yeah, a massive win. They feel good about that one. The celebration wasn't nearly as excessive as it was before. I think they're noticing this competition's really, really tight. We only have a couple more games to go. But reminder, Fnatic, the top team going into this, a 20-point margin, they fell in about 10th place. So a lot of ground was just made up by the Falcons. Really excited to see where that leader